sell rings of power and rings of power accessories. A game by Conan Ultra. Neato. <laughs> yes. So this is Roller Games. Roller Games is based on, um, I don't know, like a very short-lived cross between WWF and Roller Derby from like 1989. Um, there was apparently an arcade game that actually kind of hewed close to the concept of it being a show about Roller Derby. This is not about roller derby. This is something else. This is something far greater. Is it going to play? Let's see. Yeah, this one doesn't like full screen mode. Okay, that's fine. I can play in the tiny screen. Jerks. Oh, Jesus Christ, why? Okay, you know, maybe this isn't the right day for... <laughs> maybe I should just give up. What the fuck is happening right now? Help me, guys. Help me. Hang on. It's doing... You can't see, but it's doing crazy shit in the background. Okay, anyway. <laughs> it's having so many issues right now. I swear I played this game like two days ago and it worked. <laughs> there we go. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I know. My actual NES console is being really unreliable. <laughs> we are faced with an enormous problem. Three rough teams have kidnapped the owner. The three good teams can, all, can only rescue him. Your, your skills decide if you win or fail. Which team do you want to join? We're gonna join the T-Birds, baby. We're gonna be the Thick Boys. <laughs> Is this old Johnny Cash? Is this someone's grandma? I don't know. Okay. So, it's basically a beat-em-up, but we're on rollerblades. And there's no checkpoints in each stage. <laughs> and there's a timer. <laughs> and there's holes. <laughs> oh! See, y'all thought I was gonna be doing good for a second there, didn't you? Oh! The hole, it pulled me in. And so it begins. <laughs> oh. I used up all my goodwill too early. If I could play in full screen mode, it'd be a little easier. <laughs> it's the Holy Trinity. It's a sports beat em up based on a short lived late 80s TV, TV show. There's nothing, there's nothing better. <laughs> yeah. You're right. They do a really good job of making you feel like you're on rollerblades. It's very hard to stop and turn. Also, they're not rollerblades, they're roller skates. You can actually look and see the two rows of wheels. Look at that. Eight directional movement. Oh! Fuck it. Why did you go down? <laughs> I tried to turn. I tried to turn right. Like, I tried to do that. So, like, this is me pressing the right thumbstick. But this is also me pressing the right thumbstick. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Benzo! I did, I followed it. Oh. And the sad thing is the music is actually really good. And the game looks really good. It's got kind of a Shatterhand or a Contra look to it, you know? Like, obviously Konami knew that they should be ashamed of what they had done because they, they published it under another company's name but still put their own name on the screen. They're like, look, this was a licensed product. We, we told them they could make it. Konami's kid brother tried to make it and didn't do a great job, but we did let them use our music team and also our sprite designers. <laughs> no. It's like Double Dragon, but on skates and bad. <laughs> no, I actually love this game. Like, I, if you can't tell, I actually, like, as, as messed up as this game is, I really do enjoy this game. This is, and this is one of those, this is one of those examples of nostalgia, nostalgia glasses, fogging our vision and hiding us from the truth. Because anybody playing this game for the first time today would 100% know this game is not good. <laughs> We have a limited amount of time to save the commish, and I am not using my time well. Oh, I tried to punch him. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was my three specials for the for the round. I was going to say, if the timer doesn't restart, I'm screwed. <laughs> this is, um, this is roller games, Benzo. Roller games. Oh! Now, when I was a kid, I would just go for it. Yeah, I would just go straight up. I would jump all the holes. I don't feel confident. It's like the holy trinity of brawlers, right? So this guy is the slow, strong guy. Then you've got the, the really fast, weak character. And then you've got the rockers, which are like the medium group. Um, <clears throat> no. Brother. Kind of an easy boss. the maniacs and the violators never feel safe even if the area is clear broken expressway next don't fall off <laughs> okay so you gotta dodge those and you gotta jump the low ones makes sense that's how life should work Oh. Okay. He's quicker than he looks. Oh. This is the turbo tunnel. This is 100% the turbo tunnel.
Oh. Oh, they're so hard to dodge. <laughs> this is one of those, this is this is definitely a turbo tunnel thing where it's like, well, hope you memorized it because that's the only way you're gonna survive. Oh. Actually, this is this is about as far as I ever got in this game because um, there's no checkpoints, so it's just a matter of memorizing how to dodge everything. You know? Oh shit! Well, well, it's like this is where the Sir's adventure ends. tried to read this. <clears throat> I tried to read what you were saying. Yeah, this is not this is not a stage that your um your filthy reflexes will ever save you on. This is not a reflexes stage. This is a this is a get good game. <laughs> well, this is as far as I ever made it as a kid, Philip. So we're we're hoping that we're hoping that adult Sir is more patient and skillful than child Sir, which, to be frank, is a doubtful proposition. I will say, I did look up how to beat this because I remembered never being able to get past this stage as a kid and I didn't understand what was supposed to happen. And you're literally just supposed to wait for them to run out of ammunition. <laughs> like, that's the point of this, of this boss fight is to just wait for them to run out of ammo or gas or whatever. And I never understood that. I don't know why there's flamethrowers on the highway, Philip. That was pretty terrifying. But we did it. I, hey, you know what? New personal best for me. I've never beaten that boss before. It's all it's all uphill from here. <clears throat> Johnny Carson! <laughs> Come here. I'll treat you well. Ha ha ha. We in the junkyard now. Oh Jesus! Holy water! <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh, I don't like this. Oh. You can't just like jump forward because the game does have momentum. So if you want to, you have to just kind of memorize it. up so well. <laughs> <coughs> they intentionally did that. They knew what they were doing. Okay. Oh, Get out of here. So that guy looks like Cobra. Am 
randomized. I think it's randomized. Yeah, because they were all on the right-hand side before. Okay. And the thing is, like, the stage doesn't look bad. Look at how good it looks. Like, the game was... This is... These were talented people that just made poor decisions in life. <laughs> Whoa. repeating. I didn't find the secret exit. Yeah, it's fun. It's just very difficult. And the, it's weird because like I said, it was also an arcade game, but it's nothing like the arcade game. Like the arcade game was like an actual roller derby game where you went around a track and got points for like knocking into people and this is not that. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh no. Now it's Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. We're in the warehouse. Oh no, water! <laughs> Get out of here. Jerks. You know, I have actually been very tempted to buy the uh, re-release of that on Steam and play it. But I feel like it would not live up to my memory. Interestingly enough, this water hazard, almost, almost this exact water hazard appears in one of the other games that we're playing today, which is, um, Conquest of the Crystal Palace. The first stage has water hazards that look very similar to that. Good luck, health, by the way. I was so expecting a barrel to come down and hit me there. There you go. There's the barrel. It's just a, it's just a, a palette swap of my character. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. They they re they like remastered Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. No! Oh, that's so fucking dirty. Okay, so you can't stop to hit that guy. You gotta just go for it. Oh. Good morning, Cowboy. Okay. 
There's like one little moment there where there's there's like when you're here, there's no momentum. You can just move freely, and it's so glorious. It's like for this one moment, your character's really dry. Just about to say, is there gonna be fire on this one? Oh, there was fire. Oh. <laughs> oh no. I keep trying to get Cleveland Tom to play, and he won't do it. Oh shit! Oh no, this one's trying. Oh, this is a this is a GG right here, y'all. Here it comes. It's so hard to <laughs> because you you turn you turn like. A radial. You don't just go left, right, down. Like it's not like if you press down and right diagonally. Like the character has to kind of roll through the 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 facings, and it's so difficult. <laughs> hey, Rocket! Welcome in. Welcome to the jank, friend. <coughs> this is one you might recognize from our from our Listo games. We were, we were making decent progress, and then we got to the warehouse level. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that's, that's the thing, Health, is there was a Roller Games arcade game, but it did not, you, it did not look like this. It was a roller derby game. It was like a racing game with, with bumpers and stuff. So... It's like, it feels like it should be played with a joystick, right? It feels like it should be played with a softer touch, right? <laughs> like, but it's not. This is pure Nintendo, baby. This is a Nintendo classic. Oh, I made it so many times so easily. Okay, y'all. I really need to have Nightbot stop talking about my Halo Stream 2022 shirt. Especially considering I failed on Halo Stream 2023. Just take my hit there, and I know I'm gonna get it. <laughs> this is called Roller Games. And I want to say I'm like halfway through the game at this point. It's not a long game because the middle stage is impossible, so it doesn't need to be a long game. This feels like a Gustavo Shrapnel speedrun legend waiting to happen, doesn't it? You just imagine Gustavo playing this game. The only only member of the Jank Bros that gets more pissed off at a game than me. <laughs> oh. 
Oh no. Now if I can not get the absolute cream of wheat kicked out of me by the last standard enemy. Here. that I'm just all all hate and hate and misery because I'm forever suggesting rings of power but there are some decent games that I do suggest like rings of power <laughs> not as good as Zelda 2 obviously but still good and if nothing else the music is a jam this is this right here this is this is like uh this is like a uh, starting soon music right like stream starting soon music that's what this is oh okay uh oh no Please don't let there be enemies. Oh! <laughs> oh. Oh, shit! This chick is... She's so quick! She's so quick and nimble! No! No! <laughs> I feel like the emotion that I just went through, it felt like if you've ever seen, what is it, um, the Room 458, whatever, the, the horror movie about the haunted hotel room with, um, uh, what's his freaking name? It's 408? Room 408. Who is the who is the guy in that one? John Cusack. Yeah, that 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 the emotion I just felt was like it's spoiler alert. Um, like the halfway point of the film when he gets out of the hotel and then he goes home and then he like writes his whole book and he's like super successful and an undisclosed amount of time goes by and then like everything just falls apart and he's back in the hotel room where the hotel just like tricked him into thinking he was free just to try to get him to kill himself <laughs> like it basically let him live like a year of his life happily and then was like psych you're still here <laughs> that was what i just went through I was out! I was free! <laughs> oh. But I'm having fun! Like, I'm, I'm a huge grin on my face the whole time, because of nostalgia. Nostalgia makes us think Chrono Trigger's a good game, when Final Fantasy VI is obviously superior and came out earlier. So you could have already owned Final Fantasy VI and been replaying it for the third time when Chrono Trigger came out. This is that exact thing. You're right. She's like, well, I DK. Yeah, enjoy the, enjoy the slippy slope, buddy. Oh, the slippy slope giveth and the slippy slope taketh away. Same freaking dude. Get ah! <laughs> Almost two years. It'll be two years just in time for my uh, anniversary hike. So. Yeah. The slippy slope, take it, 
and take it and take it. <laughs> and if that's not a Konami lesson for, for the ages, I don't know what is. automatically jumps forward when you're fighting, by the way. You can't, like, like that's just how she goes. Oh, I disagree. <laughs> she, uh, she, she, she manipulated the, uh, the wall there. I'm gonna use the thick boy on this. This, this is probably a terrible idea. <coughs> but we're going thickness. This is not the character for this stage. <laughs> he looks like he looks like the guy from um, uh, Apex Legends, the Samoan guy. They just slapped some roller skates on him and were like, "Go get him, brother." <laughs> this is not the stage for this character. <coughs> See, I'm thinking my, my my reasoning is that I'm I'm more getting my ass kicked by the by the um, skaters than I am the stage. Like the stage is just a matter of dodging. I just have to get past the enemies. And I was like, well, the girl is the girl is so weak. She's giving them more opportunities to hit her. I bet it's intimidating to watch somebody speedrun this game. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna just agree with you, Philip. I'm gonna question it. I barely touched the wall and I lost all momentum there. <laughs> yeah. So now you all need to go back to your to your retro speedrun communities and you need to start really pushing everybody to to play roller games. Do you know this game the, the NES version of this game does not have a category on Twitch. It's true. That's actually the uniting... It wasn't intentional, but it ended up being the uniting theme of all of these games is that none of the games we're playing today actually has an NES category on Twitch. The other version, other versions of some of them do. Like, the arcade version of this one has a category. We gotta, we gotta do, we gotta do for roller games what we did for Rings of Power and legitimize it in the eyes of the community by getting it up above 30 followers. <laughs> this is not advice. This is my opinion. If I were you, I would just go for it. Only 14 more instant death jumps, and we're there. And this is the jet one. Just go for it! Oh, 
I stopped right in front of it. <clears throat> I'm not going to use save states, but I want you to know that I really want to be using save states right now. God, he's stabbing me. She's just, she's so hard to hit. Oh, also, wait, is that not even the boss fight? Guys, this is terrifying. <laughs> I can't hit him. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, no. your ass back to the start. <laughs> oh. We're at the 40 minute mark. I don't think we're beating this game in 20 minutes, but we're coming back to this one in the future. Consistently grab these characters, these enemies. Tekka, why do you why do you speak to me of the Onion God right now? Philip? This is one time Pekko can't save us. Okay. Have you beaten Breath of Fire three yet? By the way, Philip, I think I saw that you were streaming it a while back. Unless that was an old video that you posted. Still playing it? Played it yesterday? for like a year and a half I was going to do a run of that game where I didn't use any AP. I was going to do a no AP challenge run and I kept looking and I'm like, you know, this game is like 50 hours long played normally. <laughs> so... Oh. Yeah, I think... Are you across the ocean yet? I thought I saw from your picture that you were like over the other side of the... like you'd done the black ship area. The container ship. I don't consider that a spoiler. Okay. I was going to say, if you're like, dude, spoiler, I, I was going to apologize, but also say, oh, the desert. The desert is terrible. The, the, the directions, they, I'm not going to, I'm not going to give you specifics, but the desert is, is not as bad as people claim it is. Because people are trying to follow the directions um, that the old man gives you, and they are not good directions. There's actually there's actually like a specific angle you can choose where you just walk in a straight line in that direction for three days, and you get out. It's like a because even though the the even though the map is turning to be behind you, it's actually just a square. You're walking on a you're walking on a really big square, and there are certain spots on the square where there are like rare items, and then there's an entrance and an exit, and you're just trying to get to a certain point. It's like a grid, and you're trying to get from like I nine to A four, and you just have to like kind of angle it. Um, I haven't played it in a while, so I don't remember exactly what you're supposed to do, but like from right where you start there is a spot you can start in and just walk in a straight line and be there and like get out <clears throat> so if you get hopelessly stuck just know that that's a thing <clears throat> I 
did the same damn thing in the same damn spot as I did the same la the last damn time. <laughs> Try to beat this stage. This is gonna be our last attempt. If we get it, it's we're, we're playing until we beat this stage or game over, whichever comes first. Probably till we game over. I swear that was not a throw. I was not throwing for content there. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, that's been Roller Games by Ultra Games, a.k.a. Konami, but we don't want to admit it. Thoughts and feelings. Um, I know that this is... A decent game and not a great game but I had so much fun with it coming back and playing it again I, I made it farther than I ever made it in the game before so PB PB progress right progress PB PPB um, yeah we're gonna have to play this one again in the future um, 